Device drivers are pieces of software which operate at the lowest level of your computer, allowing your operating system to communicate with different pieces of hardware that make up your computer. On the Windows operating system, you will need to install the Easy Interactive Driver, or EID. This will allow interactive communication between the Brightlink projector and your computer. You will need to install the driver on all computers that will be using the projector. The driver is available for download at epson.com slash brightlink downloads. Once you have navigated to the website, you can click on your brightlink model listed on the page. Then under drivers and downloads, you can click on the Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit link. 32 or 64-bit refers to the way a computer's processor handles information. If you are unsure which version you are running, you can always click on the Start button, click Control Panel, click System and Maintenance or Security, and then click System. Under System, you can see here I have a 32-bit system. I'll click to close that window and go back to my browser. I'll then click to open the 32-bit link and locate the Easy Interactive Driver. At this point, we'll want to make sure we are choosing to download the driver and not the interactive tools. You can make sure you meet the system requirements, click the link, and then click Download Now. You'll then have the option of entering your email address to receive driver alerts, e-newsletters, and special offers from Epson. Once you have that entered, you can click Accept to agree to the terms and conditions and start downloading the driver. The download begins automatically, and once it's complete, you can proceed to installing the driver on your computer.